Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Islam Khalaf, paid an inspection visit to the Manama Central Market as one of the most important supply centers in Bahrain in order to see the progress of the development and service projects existing there, which supports the goals of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King. During the visit, the minister inspected the development and maintenance work being carried out in the market's facilities, which serves the merchants, shoppers, stressing the ministry's endeavor to implement the strategic plan aimed at establishing and developing model and modern markets, which meet the needs of citizens and residents alike. The minister indicated that the visit aims to evaluate the achievement of the development plan for the market, which includes maintenance of air conditioners, periodic inspections of ventilation systems, improving the level of interior lighting, and continuing to develop hygiene work for all markets, specifically in the markets for vegetables, fruits, meat, and even fish, as well as loading and unloading to the development of the truck parking area in the northern region of the market. The Ministry of Finance and National Economy has deposited compensation payouts with the accounts of citizens who were affected by the rain, based on the list submitted by the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning. The move was in line with the order of the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to assess damages, disperse compensation payouts and find sustainable infrastructure solutions for rainwater logging areas. The Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning stressed the keenness on implementing His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's directives to assess damage and study claims for compensation payouts to be dispersed quickly. The Ministry studied the cases which were submitted by the Northern Municipal Council featuring the rain-affected citizens living in the area of Lausi. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Chairman of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority Board of Directors Zayed Zayani visited the location of Bahrain Bay Coast Project where he was briefed on the project's progress since launch in November. Zayani also visited the location of the Galali Waterfront Development which is located on the road leading to Amwaj Island in Muharraq Governorate. He was also briefed on the course of work. Mr. Zayani affirmed that both projects are part of achieving the objectives of the Kingdom's Tourism Strategic Plan for the years 2022-2026, which was recently launched by the BTEA and falls under the Economic Recovery Plan. He expressed pleasure with the new additions that the two projects will constitute to increase the domestic tourism in the Kingdom, in addition to attracting more visitors and tourists from abroad. The Kingdom of Bahrain participated in the Abu Dhabi Sustainable Week 2022, which witnessed the signing of a number of large commercial agreements in addition to the announcement of major projects in the field of renewable energy and sustainable development. The overall event, Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week, is the largest sustainability gathering in the Middle East, which addressed the interconnected challenges that affect the widespread acceleration and adoption of sustainable development and clean energy. The ADSW encourages actionable outcomes to carve a pathway towards sustainability worldwide and includes the World Future Energy Summit. The region's leading B2B sustainability exhibition with the following main areas. WFES Energy, WFES Water, WFES Eco Waste, WFES Solar and WFES Smart Cities, as well as WFES is a global industrial platform connecting business and innovation in energy, clean technology and efficiency for a sustainable future. The chance to show your company is part of the exhibition's activities. The Ministry of Health said that 1,639 children aged 5 to 11 have taken the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine during the past two days. The ministry praised the high turnout of vaccinations, stressing that it is important that eligible children get vaccinated to protect themselves, their families and the public health. The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus said that registration requires the consent of a legal guardian. The children must also have an adult accompanying them 
when receiving their vaccination. To register children for the vaccination, please visit the Ministry of Health website at healthalert.gov.bh or register through the Be Aware application. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. According to the Ministry of Health, 1,211,835 citizens and residents have taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,190,757 had taken the second dose and 919,757 had received the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the corona virus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 26,078 with 1,915 recoveries and 3,303 registered new cases. There are 72 active cases receiving treatment and 9 patients in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,398 total deaths, while 293,212 recovered from the virus. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guideline issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.